The E3 program is a program we've designed for our students who want to learn more about what engineering really is, what engineers really do, so that they have a better understanding if that's a career path they might want to follow. I really enjoyed my time in the E3 program. You know, it's a great opportunity to figure out what you like. You'll know kind of a field that you want to go into and you can jump right into that your freshman year in college. Science, math, if you're into any of that, an engineering program is really helpful to explore those interests. We teach kids how to think on a different level. They're going to learn skills that they just won't get in you know, the standard physics class or the standard chemistry class. It's, it's a little bit beyond that. They've got a lot more planning to do, a lot more research, and very hands-on and kinesthetic activities. This is the kind of stuff I think every kid should be learning in high school, and I wish I had. Their first year, they're sophomores. Uh, we are trying to introduce them to the field of engineering for the first time and introduce them to the design process. Um, the next year in Engineering 2, we do three or four bigger design challenges. And by the time they're, they're seniors, they are choosing their own design challenge. So we call that their capstone. I think the program here really has um, given me a lot of insight on what engineering is and like how it works in the real world. The thing I like most about our engineering program is the mentor relationships. We connect our students, each one individually, with a mentor, an engineer, that they have conversations with periodically over the three years. Someone that you're able to connect with and get advice from on a regular basis. The field trips are awesome because we get to go or you know do things that students my age probably will never get to do. So in the course of their three years, they're, they're going to at least nine different engineering firms or companies. We go to Medtronic and St. Jude's. The Viking Stadium. By going on those field trips and getting those job shadow experiences, I think we're able to see like the full, true capabilities of what engineers do. We wanted a space where students could meet and collaborate and brainstorm together. We found a space within our building that we could renovate and turn it into a first-class engineering facility. It's designed a lot differently than a lot of other classrooms. There's a lot of empty workspace and places to design and build things. One of the coolest features of our room is our idea wall. We have decided we wanted to commit an entire wall to student brainstorming and sketching and designing and imagination. The most important trait uh, I think an engineer needs to have is one of curiosity. Being open to thinking differently, being creative, asking questions. Becoming an engineer, it takes a lot of school and a lot of dedication. And the earlier you can get started, the better it will be. The jobs are always out there. There's always a need for skilled people with technical knowledge, technical experience, and uh, it's a very solid field. It's great to see that we can grow a group of kids who will be the next generation of engineers, design engineers, biomedical engineers, who will help improve our society, who will help other people. I think our world is constantly changing. I think our world is constantly having new problems to solve. I think it's our students that are going to be that future in solving those problems for our world, making our world a better place. <laughs>